Hi guys, Pizza here. Today we'll take a look at the new hero class, Kalitzberg. I've been trying to reach core level 7 these past weeks but with no luck, so I just tried her in PvE anyways. And all I can say is she's really worth the hype. As always, feel free to adjust anything depending on your item and card's availability in your account. Now let's get into it. First, let's take a quick review about her skills. For Kalitzberg to be effective in PvE, you only need core level 4, which is, when a rose petal is picked up or removed, Kalitzberg will use memory of petals at the petal's location. Thus it's recommended to use her class weapon, Time of Birth, with its tier 5, which increases the drop rate of petals by 20%, giving Kalitzberg like a non-stop AoE DPS because of this passive and item combo. And then core level 7 gives huge damage reduction, which I think will improve her survivability even more. Now for the skill sequence, to maximize the damage output, first, cast Prepare for Elite, then pre-cast Echo of Petals for the three petals dropped from the skill and so that it can cool down immediately, then use Memory of Petals for the additional DPS and also a chance to drop a petal, then use Wish Flower to automatically pick up nearby Rose Petals, giving a burst damage to the monster, then use Whisper of Rose to lower the attributes of the enemies, or you can just proceed to activating the auto to spam the low cooldown skills. Remember to put the auto on all monsters selected, so you can just use the switch target button if you need to burst a summoned monster. Now for the rune placement, just the standard for the attribute runes. Equip all the red and yellow attribute rune that will boost your damage depending on your items. Then for the Arcane Runes, I'm using Bloody Arcane Rune for the additional damage boost of bleeding, then White Blade Arcane Rune is the best for PvE, and then War of Preparedness for the additional convert of damage to shield, and if just in case Bloody Rune does not work and you have Frenzied Rune, you can use that instead, because you have max agility anyways for the damage of Wish Flower. Now let's head on to Equipments. Again, just adjust anything depending on your item and card's availability in your account, and expect that the damage will not be the same as mine, because we don't have the same account details too. For offhand, aim for Armor Breaking Enchant, and other card options are Thor Soul, Alice Star, Meryl Roland, or Late King's Chess Knights. For Armor, aim for Morale Enchant, and other card options are Molten Colossus, Heart Card, or Moonex Star, if you still need Ignore Defense. As for Garment, Aim for PDI or Resist Enchants if you will also use this in Airship or in PvP. And other card options are Vagabond Star, Zenubia, Dreamy Kate Sid, or Golden Flame King. Then for the footgear, just same as Garment, aim for PDI or Resist Enchants. And other card options are Moonlight Flower Star or Flute Player Star card for more move speed. As for the accessories, I'm using fire because most of the boss in legend instances is weak against fire element. Other option for accessory is steel ambition with sharp blade enchant. And for the card options, physical class can use elemental and race card to boost their damage. So just adjust accordingly to the boss element or race, which I will show later on in the run. Then for her class weapon, options for the enchants are sharp blade or morale if you will use it in PVP. Again, it should be tier five for more chance of dropping petals. As for the card, you can just use two Menorah Star card if you don't have Drake card. 
As for the headgear, I'm using this because the build have too much damage to MVP already, so I changed it to skill damage. Basically, there is a lot of options for headgears, so just adjust accordingly, depending to what is available in your account. Just do trial and errors in the home dummy, so you can adjust the settings of the dummy to simulate the boss's instance strength. As for the offhand shadow equipment, I'm using Skeleton Bracer instead of Rosa Chain because my ignore defense exceeds 200% already. By the way, in case you are wondering, I'm using my brother's account, and this is also a utility main, and then uses physical class in PvE, so if you have better item for shadow equipment, just adjust it accordingly. And as for the enchants, same for the main equipment, just aim for more damage boost or resist. Now let's head on to stat allocation. Max out strength for damage and agility for the damage of Wish Flower. Then just adjust the stat accordingly. If you are to use item or card with stats requirement, for example, Zenubia card or Beautiful Ensemble, I put mine in luck because I'm using Mastering Star card. I already have Meal B and four original Will Juice here, just to give you an idea of my stats in the actual run. And bear in mind that Kalitzberg can use Elemental Converters, so adjust it depending on the monster's element. And then use Fire Controlling Alloy and Rapid Attack Alloy if you want to maximize your damage output. For Kalitzberg PvE stats, what you need to boost are Attack, Penetration, Skill Damage Increase, Physical Damage Increase, 200% Ignore Defense for PvE, fire damage if you are going to use fire accessories, damage to large size monsters, and then lastly damage to MVP. 